Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy SP or Speedy here, bringing you my first My Team video on my channel. It is finally 2K Day, boys. It is here. The moment we've all been waiting for. I am so excited to start making MT this year and going absolutely crazy for you guys. So enough uh, time wasting. Let's jump right into the filters. So, as you can see in the top right, I have 15,150 MT. Uh, I got this from getting the 75th anniversary edition because I wanted to have both current gen and next gen because current gen is always better for sniping, 100% better for sniping. The game on the next gen consoles runs slower, but like if you wanted to buy a card, like you'd buy it so much slower than scrolling down. Like this, like look, it just like you can just scroll right down to the card and buy it. Like that's so much faster. That's the first tip I'll give out. But enough of that. I'm gonna get into the filters. So the first filter I'm gonna recommend is the 700 filter. The reason I'm saying this one is because everyone wants to lock in cards to get this Luca over here. Um, as you can see, Luca, you have to complete, where is it? Yeah, complete an Eastern Conference My Team set or a Western Conference My Team set. Try! So to get this Luca, you have to lock in something, okay? Sorry it's not that free, but it is what it is. So sitting on a filter like 700, you can snipe cards that are from all the current base sets that you can lock in in here. Which is great, because that's good for us MT makers. Uh, that should be pretty consistent. Uh, I'm guessing within 10 minutes, like, during 10 minutes you probably have like 5 snipes. I don't know how the servers are right now, I haven't even tried sniping yet honestly. But these are definitely the best filters I'm going to be sitting on all day today. The next one I'm going to recommend is honestly the Ruby filter. Uh, I think the cheapest one's like 6k. Yeah, 6k, they're only for 5.6, so honestly, I'm going to recommend sitting on like 4.5k on here. You could go to 5k if you want, it's still profit, I just like making a little bit more profit instead of just like buying a card for 5k then making like, you know, like 400 MT. Like I only have 15k MT, if I had more MT I would just be doing that, but to all you people, if you want to sit on there, go ahead. This filter will have a lot of good cards because if you saw the promo that came out, the Colossal Packs, um, you can sit on a filter for there too, I'll be showing that one in a little bit. Which honestly, I might be sitting on there instead because I do want to get this Ray Allen card. And if there's a chance I can get him, it's over. I need that card. I would definitely recommend Ruby 4.5k. Um, you definitely can make a lot of profit sitting on these filters. As long as you're dedicated and like you're not like bored, that's why I'm recommending multiple filters. So you can switch back and forth in case you get bored of one filter, you can move to the next one. Uh, I think I'm only gonna recommend like four filters today because I don't really know all of them right now because it's really just, it's it's day one. It's literally like the first hour that like all the actual like people that aren't like the big creators can actually play. So the next one I'm gonna recommend to you guys is the Amethyst 7K filter. The cheapest one to my knowledge is 9K MT at the moment. Yeah, 9,000 MT. He's been sitting there for a minute. So that's why I'm saying 7K. Now sitting on here, you can see, you know, obviously it's just Amethyst, so you can see all, you know, all the Amethyst and stuff, but you can see those Colossal cards. Those Colossal cards are definitely, definitely, definitely going to have good value. Okay, so the final filter I'm going to show you guys is the Colossal filter. Now, this one you can see everything from the new promo. Uh, I don't know, it's cheap. 2.3 is the cheapest one. Honestly, 1.5k. And if you really get to a point where you want to type all the bigger ones, like the Rubies and Amethyst, what I would recommend doing is raising your price up like this and hold on let's see what are the cheapest ones honestly i might enable this uh let's make it 4k so there's only jalen greed kane cuttingham and michael porter jr you have to worry about oh edwards too uh there's four sapphires honestly if you get enough teeth to enable them you can enable these cards and sit on a filter like you know like higher like 7k and go for like all the rubies amethyst and everything like that's a really good filter too just a bonus filter i guess honestly a pretty good bonus filter might be an emerald filter like it's weird hearing me say that because i've been used to dark matter filters all year but honestly you can sit on here like the cheapest one's 2k and like there's some pretty good ones in here honestly there's some people that people are gonna want i would sit on like I i'd sit on 1k emerald if you really wanted to like any of these filters, if you guys want to look for yourself, just lower the price a little bit, see which way you can make them like profit. I'd say Emerald 1k. I didn't really check gold. Gold applies to 700, I guess. So same thing, 700. All right, so the Sapphire filter I'd recommend is 1.5k. Just like the Colossal one, if you really just want to target the Sapphires, because there's going to be a lot being thrown off, because everyone has, everyone that has the 75th anniversary edition of the game gets a free 10-pack box. Well, not free, you paid for it, I guess. But, uh... 
it gives you a guaranteed amethyst and you'll i i pulled three amethyst out of the box three i had some good luck i don't know but uh i would definitely recommend any of these filters i would not sit on diamond for sure definitely would not sit on diamond uh it's random how long it takes to get snipes but just off of basic knowledge what i assume if you have dedication and actually sitting here trying to snipe cards you'll you'll be fine you'll be making mt like nothing by the way uh, just a small tip for all you guys that just got the game uh if you don't plan on using any of your cards sell them right away cards at the beginning of the year have a lot a lot of value because there's really nothing else to buy so people are going to be buying these like higher cards like this ruby andre jumman look how much he is Bruh. look how i'm selling him right now i'm gonna throw him up a little bit cheaper because 10k is kind of outrageous but like oh my amethyst sold by the way nice i'm gonna sell him for like 8k but um yeah this was one of the answers i pulled the calvin murphy went for 9.9k like 10k and t like that done that was just from pulling packs so that was well pulling packs that they gave me i guess that was great but uh if you guys have cards are just like please check your collection look gilbert arenas 8.6k like these cards have value they really do and if you hold on to them for too long everyone's gonna pull them and they're gonna be very cheap so please 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 check your collection for valuable cards please that will make you a lot, a lot, a lot of MT. Because after a week, you're not going to be using any of these cards. These cards are just for the first week of the game. You will not be using any of these cards. Bruh. Around. What is that? Yep, TikTok man invites me to a game. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If any of you are following my tips, let me know down below in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Share with your friends. Uh, I'm probably going to be posting a YouTube shorts of a couple snipes I get uh, after this video. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, it's been your boy Speedy. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.